Alright guys, we're back again with some more Clash Royale, and why am I coming back at you with yet another video here? Because, I'm not sure about that guy, because, I, as you know from my previous video, I, I got the graveyard spell, and I think I finally found a deck that works. This is what I've got. As you saw in my previous video, I was using the Princess here instead of the Mega Minion. However, you know that I have never been the biggest fan of the Princess. I don't know why. A lot of people say that it's a pretty good card. To me, it just does damage too slowly. You can see hit speed every three seconds, and it doesn't do enough for me. That's my thinking. You know I prefer using Minions, but I decide, you know what I need? Because I just lost to a Sparky deck. I need something that can take out Sparky easily. And the Mega Minion was my answer for that. So I'm requesting him in 15 minutes, which may actually be in this video. And we will get four of him since we're in Legendary Arena to get him to level 5. We just need a bit more gold, which I should be able to get later within these chests and the crown chest. So I just want to show you this replay. Here's why I love this deck from the first battle I did, and I knew it would be great. So we jump into this right here. I know I'm facing level 9, so my Furnace is going to have extra val added value here. Immediately, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm feeling pretty good. Of course, not knowing that this guy has the dreaded Lava Hound deck. That you know that I hate playing against Lava Hounds. Now, we actually stay a little stare down here for quite a while. Because I like to make the first move no matter what. So we wait quite a bit here until he finally decides to play his Lava Hound. We waited about a whole minute for him to finally play something. But you know what? I'm patient and we got our furnace going here. Notice two shots there, so I am able to get on the Lava Hound here immediately now. I don't know what, I assume that, it, actually I did, I assume that a Baby Dragon was coming. Because that's mostly how these decks are. Notice I play my Mega Minion, then I immediately Fireball, because I know that his Mega Minion is there. Now, I believe, um, yeah, I wait. I play my Barbs here to distract the, some of the Pups and the Inferno Dragon. Because the Infernal Dragon is just so easy to distract. And look how easily it gets taken out here. Uh, no audio there. Can this guy play audio? No. Okay, dang it. I want to show you guys the audio. Anyway, we go here. Notice our Fire Spirit's absolutely wrecking that there. Here I play the Graveyard. And I think this is actually the only occasion that I actually use the Graveyard in this battle. I just didn't even need a need for it. But the fact that this deck worked is what fascinated me. So notice here, I'm going to go with my Furnace again. I know his Hound's coming, so I play my Mega Minion to immediately go in on this Baby Dragon, though I do go Ice Wizard first to make sure that it goes down. Now I go Mega Minion. I'm expecting an Inferno Dragon here. However, he pumps, which really did surprise me. So I'm waiting here. I don't even... Do I even zap these guys? No, I don't zap. I didn't see a need. I go right in here with Hog Bars, assuming he's going to have nothing for it. Um, right there, there goes that. I opt to Fireball, which I really didn't need to do, but luckily I did hit the Mega Minion. I zap it away. There we go. We just took a tower, guys. This Inferno Dragon is going to do nothing because the Inferno Dragon is just so darn weak. And here we go now, continuing. We're going to drop an Ice Wizard in the back for the oncoming Inferno Dragon. We're going to play that, and we're going to Mega Minion here. And look at where this battle went. We're going to drop Barbs again to distract the Inferno Dragon. And just like that, guys, we literally gave up. I We gave up. Hold on. Oh, no, I can't. Um, We gave up less than 300 damage to a Lava Hound deck. That was insane to me. And again, Sparky here. I needed something for Sparky. I think the Mega Minion is going to be very darn good against that. So I am actually feeling really darn good. I mean, I just... Just seeing how that deck worked, I really do, I really am feeling good. I think I may have found a good legendary card. I mean, you guys just know that I have never been the biggest princess fan. I mean, you see that on my other chain, my main channel with all my videos. I just never been the biggest fan of the princess. Obviously, not Sparky either. So I think just finding these two cards now, finally having two legendaries that I can trust is definitely good. Let's just jump into a training match here. Just see if we can beat the trainer here. Trainer Faker, I faced him twice already. Um, three crown once, one crown the first time. I This guy runs a bowler, a bowler minor deck, which is actually pretty darn interesting to me, but he does it. I'm going to wait for him. He goes Lumberjack here. We're going to go Ice Wizard. Um, I actually think we're going to be able to take that. Okay, never mind. He's going to do that. We're going to go here because we don't really have much to do. Oh, boy. I did not expect a rage already out of him. 
We're going to actually have to go furnace here to make sure that we do some damage. And unfortunately, we just lost a lot to this trainer. The trainers are so crazy. They don't play like a traditional Clash Royale player, which is why they can sometimes be hard to play against. And here comes his bowler again. Going to wait on that. We're going to time it perfectly here and play our bars. He's going to air our barbs. Perfect. I'm going to graveyard right here with the barbs coming in. I love the sound effect of the graveyard as well. But look at this. The skeletons are just coming up too quickly. The towers focus on the barbs. And down you go. There's so many skeletons going at that king tower. I'm going to zap both towers here. And we are doing damage. And I didn't even notice his lumberjack. Oh, boy. We're going to go Mega Mini in here. Oh, gosh. I forgot how weak he is. Oh, gosh. Luckily, we took him out, though. And our Ice Wizard is still going on that King Tower. Uh-oh. Here go our Barbs, which are going to take out that. I want, play, I want to play my Graveyard here, but I don't have anywhere near enough Elixir. Let me wait a bit. Hopefully, he doesn't play anything. There's a Splash. There we go. Graveyard. Here come the Skeletons. And that is going to absolutely destroy that tower. And guys, I got to tell you, I'm amazed at how well the graveyard is actually doing for me right now. Like, even me, I understand that it is a new card and people don't really know how to counter it. But I am just, I feel comfortable. Like, I feel like people just won't know how to counter my strategies with it. I really just don't think people will. We're going to go Mega Minion Hog here, Graveyard, around that King Tower. And with it locked onto the Hog, that King Tower is going to go down. We're going to Fireball just because why not. Fireball lands, and that Tower is gone. Three Crown on Trainer Faker. I feel pretty darn good about this deck, I've got to say. So, unfortunately, we're not going to request the Mega Minion on camera, but I feel really darn... Oh! Is that worth it? No, it's not, because I want to save my gold to be able to upgrade him, because I, I need it. I actually, believe it or not, this is forever. It's been forever since I haven't had enough gold to upgrade anything. I need to upgrade this app, too. It's been like that forever. <laughs> But yes, that'll do it, guys. I just wanted to show you this new idea. So if you guys managed to get the graveyard, trust me, try this deck out. It has everything you want. It's a 3.8 deck. 3.8 is about the highest you can get without a pump if you know how to play Clash Royale. And I know that I know how to play Clash Royale. Um, another thing you're going to want to do, if you're high up in trophies like I am at 3,000 plus, you're going to want... To have a level 8 furnace. That's what I'm going to get next after I get the Mega Minion up to make sure that I can use that furnace in my advantage against all the level 10s that I face. And I'm going to be level 10 pretty soon myself, actually. So I am pretty happy about where I am right now. And I will let you know if I make any more modifications, like the Ice Spirit. I know that's something that could be pretty good. Anyway, guys, take care.